Oh, no. Don't you ever just hear some news that just absolutely sucks to hear? Especially when you hear that it's something you may have to deal with, not just for the rest of the season, but for possibly the rest of your career. Ah, oh, man, this just sucks to hear. Unfortunately, though, sometimes injuries could catch up on to you. There's been a lot of baseball players who've had, like, such hot starts like the first, like, ten or so years of their career. Just for, like, the second half of your career to have injuries start piling up. Guys like Ken Griffey Jr., for example. My goodness, I read an article from, like, 2000, from 1996 to 2000. Ken Griffey Jr. had clubbed, like, about 250 home runs. But then from the next five years, 2001 to 2005, injuries limited him and only hit a whopping 98 home runs. Imagine if he would have stayed healthy during those years and he would he would have definitely broken the home run record. No doubt about it, I believe he would have broken that home run record. But what's brought us here? What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. I have an article here from MLB.com I want to read about some news that was released yesterday. So I guess Mike Trout, for the past couple weeks, has been sidelined with like a back injury. He was supposed to, think, I believe, start in the All-Star game. And unfortunately, he was not able to lose this injury. Last season, he was an injury limit him to, I think, like 36 games or something like that. Um, and he missed like most of the season. And this year, he was playing, you know, he's played half the season. And it was putting up excellent numbers, as always. But now, of course, he has another setback. When he's going to be back, I have no idea. But not just be just for the season. He may have this back injury, which is a very rare back injury, apparently, that he may be dealing with for the rest of his career. So let's read this article that was posted on MLB.com. And it's titled, I'm Not Worried, Trout Dealing with Long-Term Back Issue. At receiving a cortisone shot to relieve back slash left rib cage irritation on June, July 21st, Mike Trout continues to play the waiting game. Angels head trainer Mike Frostad said Wednesday that it could be up to two weeks from the time of the shot before Trout feels its full benefits. On a much larger scale, however, Frostad revealed what could be much more troubling news. Trout has a rare condition in his back. Cus Excuse my, my, my pronunciation of these medical terms. Costovertebral dysfunction at T5 that he will likely have to manage for the rest of his playing days. I think we have to have some concern on that, Frost had said. He's a little more upbeat today and starting to feel like he's getting the benefits. But long term, we do have to look at this as something he has to manage, not just through the rest of this season, but also through the rest of his career probably. After frequent reports about Trout's condition began to circulate, the Angels star addressed the media after Wednesday's 4 0 win over the Royals to clarify the situation. I think Frost had meant I have to stay on top of my routine that I do on a daily basis to prevent it from coming back, Trout said. I feel good where it's at right now. Every day is improving. I feel really good today. Ask if he thinks he's going to play again this season. He said, Of course, that's my goal. I'm going to see the doctor Sunday, just a checkup, and go from there. The last two days have been huge steps. I'm excited the way it's going and happy with it. Charles said he received numerous phone messages of concerning following the initial reports. It's not what the report came out, Trout said. I got back and my phone was blown up said my career's over. That's news to me. It's just that I've got to stay on top of it. It's rare for a baseball player, that's the thing. Just have to stay on top of it. I think it's a little exaggeration. I appreciate all the prayer requests, but my career isn't over. I'm not worried about it. You swing a lot and things pop up. I was playing through it for a little bit and it just got to the point where it was time to figure it out. Trout will have a follow-up with his doctor next week. While unable to resume baseball activities, he's begun doing core and cardio work. But no matter where, when he returns in the immediate future, his condition is something he and the club will have to monitor moving forward. This is pretty a pretty rare condition that he has in his back, Frostate said. For it to happen to a baseball player, we have to take it into consideration what he puts himself through with hitting, swinging on a daily basis to get prepared, and also playing in the outfield. There are so many things that can aggravate it. I mean, Trout does not seem worried. 
But, you know, let's just face the facts. Obviously, you know, the doctors have concerns. And, you know, there is a history of players who, you know, fight through that, basically. You know, they say I'm fine, but they really aren't fine at all. It just sucks to hear that. Mike Trout, who I believe, he's almost 31. He turns 31 on August 7th. Um, and he's already put up, like, Hall of Fame caliber numbers for his career. He's already hit a career 303 hitter, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases, 800 RBIs. The guy's multiple time, a 10 time All Star. He's like a multiple time MVP. Where I can't remember how many times, like maybe three time MVP award winner. And he has one of the largest contracts in baseball history right now. Oh boy. It, it just, it's such a shame. It's like he had, with before this back injury, he has so much left in the tank to offer. This guy's on pace to maybe hopefully get, like, how many hits does he have? 1,400. Okay, he may come close to 3,000 hits. I hope he gets 3,000 hits. You know, 500 homers, 500, 600 doubles, maybe. Um, definitely going to be up in the RBI category. Maybe get 300 stolen bases. I don't know. It's just the older he's gotten, he seemed to, you know, slow down a little bit in the stolen base department. Not as much of a threat to run as he used to be. But, dear God. I, I, this is the this is literally the best player in baseball for the past decade. He's just about to turn 31. He still has his best years still left in him. I mean, yeah, he's in the prime of his career, but still, he's got the... It just sucks when you when you hear a guy like this have like a condition. I mean, yes, he's not too worried. You know, I'm trusting his own instincts. But you don't want to hear it is from the, your best player in the league. Y- y- you don't. Like, a condition he's going to have to monitor for the rest of his career, like, that could limit his playing time. You know, managers could look at him and limit him to playing in the outfield. He could be, you know, reduced to, like, a DH role or something. Or he could end up being moved, like, right field or something like, like, like that. This just sucks to hear. Like, I, I, I hope... When he does get back on the field, which I do hope is soon. It's not like it could be maybe at least two weeks, maybe longer, until he, he, he starts playing again. I don't know. But I just hope it doesn't impact his career. Like I, I, he, He's that great of a player. I have much, much, much respect for Mike Trout, for sure. It would just really suck to see this back injury just, like, cut his career short. And he had to, like, you know, like, retire earlier. Or, you know, it's like... His numbers drop because of this. It's it's just going to suck. It's just really going to suck to see if that happens to him. Because, you know, these injuries that they say you have to... You basically, they're not just like, you know, oh, temporary. It's like, oh, they, they, they have like a long-term effect on you. It's just... It sucks to hear that. Especially regarding your best player in the league. <sighs> This just sucks. I, I, I pray for Mike Trout. I hope that, you know, whatever this rare back issue is, he, he does get it under control. And again, I hope he's able to finish his career healthy. And not early either as well. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Mr. Mike Trout. Again, who has had... He's played, like, full seasons until, like, 2017 where... He either had had like I can I can like he had played not counting twenty eleven when he played only forty games, he played like one hundred forty games or more after that. Well, one hundred thirty nine in his rookie year in twenty twelve, and one hundred fifties, and then one hundred fourteen in twenty seventeen. Because I forgot what he had like a hand injury or something like that. One hundred forty in twenty eighteen, one hundred thirty four in twenty nineteen. He had an injury that that that, that ended his career a little bit earlier, and he was already hitting like forty five homers. He probably could have reached fifty if he would have played one hundred fifty games. He could have had five more. Um, twenty twenty, of course, was the injury sh- was the pandemic shortened seasons. I don't count that, but like last year, he only played in thirty six games. This year, he's played in seventy nine. Oh God, like the, the guy is just literally on pace to be one of the be- greatest players of all time. So, we'll see what happens. Continue thoughts and prayers for Mike Trout as he deals with this back injury. And I, as like I said, I hope he gets to finish his career on his own terms and healthy as well. So, that's my thoughts on Mike Trout uh, being diagnosed with a very rare back condition that could um, 
that could have a long-term effect on the rest of his career. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirBoy93. Until then, guys, I am checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. And peace out, everybody.